Hey everybody, it's the Thrifty Woodworker here. I'm gonna make for you today a Rex Kruger inspired California mission stool. And here's one that I made before, first one I tried. I made this one out of old leaves from a table that somebody was throwing out. Uh, today, I'm making some out of some recycled wood that I got out of my daughter's house. So I'm actually making this as a Christmas present for her. Nothing says Christmas like giving people back the trash they threw out just a few weeks ago. So now after a few shots of the obligatory milling down of the scrap lumber. We'll get to the meat of the project. Here I'm showing you my prowess at using the painter's tape and super glue trick to put two boards together so we can get them exactly the same. It's important that I mention here that plans are available for this. All you have to do is go over to Rex Kruger's site, and I have links to that below, and he has plans available. They're actually some of the best plans I've ever seen. He'll have all of the information you need there, and he also has a great video on how to make it. That's how I learned how to do it. Uh, he uses hand tools. I prefer my power tools because I spent so much money on them like a fool. Um, but I really think you'll enjoy it. I am a patron over at Rex's because he offers so many great perks for being a patron. Uh, it's really something you should think about doing. Like so many of you, I own a portable oscillating sander that I put upside down in my bench vise there. A reminder that the best tools to use are the ones that you have. So whether you need a rasp or whatever kind of sandpaper is there, Rex uses a tin can wrapped around with sandpaper to do this part, and it seems to work just fine. Now you do need to notch out for the cross brace here. Uh, it's a little bit of an odd shape because you have the seven degree angle and a few other things. So just make sure you're careful here. I like to mark my lines in with a uh, pencil and then I go through and um, clean it all up with a chisel. I am lucky enough to have a stick with a piece of sandpaper on it to clean up my cleaned up chisel marks. I then use my table saw at the same seven degree angle to clean up the feet to make sure that they're all perfectly. And now everyone's favorite part, the satisfying splitting up of the painter's tape trick. I then go and round over the top of my bench I like to round over both the top and the bottom side 
At this point, I don't know which is the top or the bottom. I gotta see which one uh, sands up nicest. Now this is gonna be my first big deviation from Rex. He uses cut nails for an authentic look. I will be using screws and I will be covering those screws with dowels. Now once you've got it all screwed together, you'll find that the edges aren't quite level with the ground or the top as you're going to need it. So using a hand plane here to shave it off so that it is level and flat and beautiful is probably the easiest way. My next deviation from Rex is I use figure eight washers to hold the base to the top. These are pretty easy to install and I really like them because they do allow for expansion and contraction. So this would be it. Here is the stool, very similar to the one Rex has made. But unfortunately, I have two daughters that want a stool for Christmas, but don't know it yet. So I needed to make a second one, and it can't be exactly the same. So for the second one, I make it with the legs splayed out at seven degrees. This is done by making a seven degree cut at both the top and the bottom of the legs. And also a seven degree cut at the top cross piece. The procedure for assembling the base is very similar to the first one. It's just seven degrees off on everything. Here's the only additional piece to the second one. I cut a cross member at seven degrees, place it where I want it, mark it, and then cut the other end. This will hopefully keep the bottom from splaying out more than seven degrees. Now I attach this using my trusty pocket hole.
Now, I never show my painting or finishing techniques because they're horrible. I can recommend Thomas Johnson Antiques. I'm going to link to him down below. The man is unbelievable. You will learn more from him than you could from just about any other human. I hope you enjoyed these, and most importantly, I hope my daughters enjoy their Christmas present.